so much time has passed, and I still can't remember that you are no longer with me. And the day has just only begun. I remember that day as if it were yesterday. She asked for a photo in the front of our house as a memento, and another photo in the front of her favorite spot under the tree. Freya told me that after she died, she would wait for me there, where we would see and watch the sunset. Cap, it's been so many years, but I still look at you and remember how happy you were until the very end. The tears won't stop. So many years. Ingress Cap, it's been so many years, but I still look at you and remember how happy you were until the very end. The tears won't stop. So many years. My first catch of my own. I had to take a wrong swing and cast a rod, and a hook got caught in my back. Freya and Ingwer laughed at me for a long time. She asked me to keep the hook as a memento, so that I would have something to remember when I was old. I remember you telling me that when you grew up, you were going to buy yourself a car and take me and your mother to all the beautiful places. You were so eager. You were so young. There were so many roads open to you. I was sure you'd accomplish so much. Life is a fear. When Freya was pregnant with Ingwer, she was so fond of this mug. She said this mug was like a heart that needed to be fed with a hot tea. In my opinion, it was just an ordinary mug, like all the others. Now, this mug is like one of my memories of her. Once upon a time. The stove burned, lighting up the house with warmth. It was like a symbol of my heart. Now all that's left is ashes, only ashes. <sighs> I won't be needing a fish rod today. Freya's favorite garden, or what's left of it. When she was gone, the weeds took over. Sometimes I began to think she loved this garden more than I did. She spent so much time here. To the question, "Why are you always digging in this garden?" she would answer, "Be thankful I'm digging here at all, you old grudge." She loved her garden. When Ingwer was gone, I was so angry at myself for not being there for him. I took an axe and chopped wood until I was exhausted. My inner cry of pain keeping me awake. I was stopped by a hand, Freya's hand. She put her hand on my shoulder and put her arm around my back. I was relieved. The anger gradually subsided. But the pain remained to this day.
Freya, Ingvar. There are not enough words to describe how much I miss you. I'm old now. How much it hurts to stand here and look at you. And I'm standing here. Forgive the old fool who couldn't keep you safe. Forgive me. Freya, Ingvar. There are not enough words to describe how much I miss you. I'm old now. How much it hurts to stand here and look at you. And I'm standing here. Forgive the old fool who couldn't keep you safe. Forgive me. I miss the nighttime get-togethers, the way we sat talking about things, the way Ingwer asked questions about stars. He called them heavenly lights. Freya said they were the souls of people who led the way for those who had lost the meaning of life, looking up so that these people realize that not all is lost, that this is not the end. Everything will be all right from here on out. Looking at the pond made me feel calmer. I imagined myself in the middle of it, sitting in my boat, casting my rod and fishing. There was silence all around, all the distant muffled sounds. Freya and Ingwer used to like to feed the fish that swam here. Now all that's left is dirty water. Ingwer was a dreamer. He believed in more. He imagined a lot about taking off and touching the sky. He told us how free he felt swinging on the swings, as if he could touch the sky a little more. At the moment I heard Freya scream, as she called out to Ingwer with tears in her eyes, how she begged him to wake up. But it was too late. 